full success, I would say. Full fucking success. Here we fucking go. I love it. Looks like she broke her neck though. <laughs> Okay, Festival Eve. Yotsu. Mmm. Mmm. Sunset. Under the great Enoki tree. Now that I think about it, this tree has grown too, hasn't it? Its trunk now reaches up to the to the top of the new Hoshkan building. I suppose that's only natural. It's hard to believe almost 80, 80 years have passed since then. When it was planted, it was nothing but a but a sapling about a meter tall, and I've watched it grow to this height over all the years since. It was a tree the girls in my trade had planted to commemorate their graduation. That was all it had meant. Yet at some point, people started to call it a memorial tree. Is that really a, really the reason those girls chose an Inuki tree to plant? Did they make their choice out of consideration for me when my life was cut short there at the school? For some lo someone like me, that's right. Someone like myself. Say what? <laughs> I would love to see that animated though. It's, it's gonna be that would be hilarious. Yuna-san was coming toward me with Megumi Megumi's hand around her shoulder. My wonderful friend and my precious sweetheart. She appreciates it. Maki-chan's punishment for that whole to-do with the third year yesterday was decided earlier. She was suspended from school for three days. Justice for the for the wrong people. I felt a little sorry for her since the school festival was included in those three. Oh yeah, that sucks. Maki-san had been waiting for Maki-chan outside of the faculty room and they had gone off to their hideout together after seeing them off. I'd started back toward the roof but found myself halted. I'd stopped under the Enoki tree. Shit. Let me kick back a little bit here, because you know I'm playing. Just a little side note: I've been starting, or I started playing um, Phoenix Wright in German. However, uh, you know there's also a lot of reading, but this one, you know, I, I fucking love the game. I fucking love it. But playing it alongside also Kindred Spirits of the Heart, which is also just re requires me to read, but it's a little bit more relaxing, which is you know welcome. <laughs> How do we know that, but Megumi doesn't, when they have been together for like 30 years, I think? <laughs> Megumi's voice was innocent, but I couldn't hear her words as admiration. It just feels like, okay, f maybe we can finally get closure. They just felt like needles in my heart. I knew Megumi had no ill intent in her words, but I couldn't accept them for what they were because of my weakness, my lies. What do you mean? The lies I've wrapped myself up to hide my weakness, the lies I need to shed soon. Do it now. It's been 30 years since I met Megumi and our relationship began, and I've never shown my true self to her in all that time. What does he do you mean? But in the months since meeting Yuna-san, our time has really begun to move. Our days of merely watching have ended. With Yuna-san, we have watched over hidden feelings at times, extending help to those couples be bound together by their courage and words. We've seen our efforts bear fruit several times. Things have started to change. No, they've already changed. So I will too. Finally! Spill the beans! Let's see what this is all about. I can't keep telling these lies. Okay. Tell me. これは私の同級生が卒業の記念に植えた木よ。ただそれだけ。すごいことなんて全然ない。私は事故が起きたその日まで大好きだったその子の手を握ることさえできなかった。ただの。
臆病者だったんだから。What? I have to tell them the truth. I have to tell them who I really am. What do you mean? What would the two of them think of me when they learn the truth? No, I don't care. I want to tell them anyway. I don't want to hide it anymore because you did the same, Yuna-san. You told Hina-chan of your wounds during su the summer camp, and by telling her, you were able to face your past. Everyone did the same. Maki-chan, Umbi-chan, Sasa-chan, Nena-chan, Kiri-chan, Sono-sensei, Yuka-chan, Matsuri-chan, Miyu-chan, Miki-chan too. They all faced toward, forward and bared their true feelings, especially Miki-chan, who overcame her own fears to face Maki-chan. Yes. Well, fears... Well, we, we, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I'm the only one who can't face my love without hiding myself. I want Megami to know the truth, and Yuna-san too, since she's done so much for the two of us. I should remember how I was in life, even though it was such a long time ago. Even though so much time has passed since those days. ずっと一人でいたの。寂しかったけど、それでも誰かに話しかけることもできずにいたの。Okay。サチさんが？え、想像つかない？A little bit, yeah. I don't blame you. I'm not the one who was uh, who, who I was back then anymore now. そんな私にも声をかけ手を差し伸べて友達の輪に加えてくれた人がいたの。オッケー。ほがらかで大人びていて誰からも頼られていて、いつもその人の周りには自然と友達が集まる。そんな素敵な人。オールライト。私の I'm sorry for talking about this, Megumi, though I'm fairly certain you were at least aware of it, since we've discussed why we'd become spirits before, that I loved someone before you. Even so, I'm sure it hurts to hear something like this, I'm sorry, but please allow me to continue just for just a little more. それだけでも良かったの。たまに言葉を交わすだけでも、その場に一緒にいられるだけで良かったの。そして、あの事故が起こったの。何でもない普通の日だった。昔の星間の校舎の屋上で壊れた手すりの向こうに。あの人が落ちて行きそうになるのを見て、私は、とっさに手を伸ばした。そして運良く、その手を握ることができた。多分、無我夢中だったわ。思い切り引き寄せて。その人がどうにか、他の友達の手にすがりついた時、私の体は、
大好きだった人の姿を真似たあの人の話し方態度憧れていた姿をそのまま自分のものと偽ったのそしてもう本当の自分を言い出すことができなくなってたの恵みに嫌われたくなくなっていたから恵みを失いたくなかったからずっとこの姿を続けていたの For 30 years? それが今あなたたちが見ているえのきさちなのよでも本当は本当の私は違うの内気な臆病者だったのそしてずっと嘘をついてきた Actually wrong Actually... あなたを騙していた卑怯者だったのよ Actually wrong People change over time And she did Thanks to Megumi <laughs> ごめんね Megumi 今まで騙してきて Now the way you talk and act with Megumi is totally natural So you don't really pretend that you're someone that you're not I don't want you to forgive me for deceiving you, and I don't want to cut ties with you. I just couldn't keep hiding. I won't be so selfish to ask, to ask for your forgiveness, but... I had a notion of what Megumi was speaking of. I'd noticed something sometimes lurking behind her innocent smiles, behind her words. I had noticed, but I couldn't tell her because I felt like telling her might, br might bring to light the things I was hiding too. I lied because I loved you. I, you couldn't say because you loved me. Ah, we're the same now, even after opening up to each other. We'd feel, felt the same with our secrets and after revealing them. I can love you even more. I love you, Megumi. There we go. I love the tears from your cheeks. I'll embrace you and stroke your hair, my dear sweetheart. You're gonna stay cool. And without letting go of my precious love, I turned to my precious friend. No. You've overcome hardship from your past as well, and you've been hurt by the hidden feelings of others too. Oh, that's what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you grow over time. Yeah. Right. 
昔を気にして今のサチさんがいなくなったらその方が嫌です気にしないで今のままでいてください、right. 私が言えるのはそれだけ、right. そうですよ<笑> You too, you don't need to be so kind to me And at the same time I'm so glad to have met you too After telling you the truth and hearing your words, I finally feel like my ch my change is real. Yeah. I've become like her, the girl I admired. Yeah, people change over time. It's alright. Good. That wasn't too bad. I was I, I was expecting the worst actually. But okay, we got we got pa we got past that. That's cool. That's it. School festival day one. Oh wait, when when was she suspended? By the way, uh, was it here? One, two, three. Yeah, so she's gonna be back. Maki's gonna be back on Monday at the fifth. Oh, uh, now, uh, well, do we get the Koba thing also? Like her her rock? Are we gonna get that in the first at the first day? Some kind of sounds like it. New song though. The school festival is finally here! The program lasts two days, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to be the autumn equinox holiday, but we've got school after, for the festival. In exchange, we get next Monday off. So it's only like a two-day suspension then, basically. Even people like me who are in the club or participating in an exhibit stand or a performance can still show up since it's con counted as classes. We have to be at school from 9 to 3 today. Though tomorrow we only need to be here here in the morning, I think. I was pretty bored last year since I didn't have anything to do. I'm still not in the club, but I wasn't really doing anything else either. And Hina hadn't started school here yet, I think, for the for the first day. I just wandered around with Ano, and on the second day Hina came to check out the school, and we wandered around too. But things are a little different this year, though I'm still not participating in anything. Yuka's show in, is in the afternoon today. I wonder what she'll pull during it and what... Oh, okay. And what Adiyo-san's reaction will be. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Sono-sensei and Tsurugimine-san have been incredibly busy... Sorry, up to now. And I bet they are still gonna be working today. I wonder if they'll actually have a chance to enjoy the festival. I don't need to worry about Maki-san, who got suspended for the commotion she caused yesterday. For doing the right thing. Three-day suspension starting today. Oh, okay. I feel a bit sorry for her. I'm sure Maki-san won't be doing any work now that the festival has started. Then there's Ichike-san at the, at the broadcasting club. That's about it. My biggest worry is about tomorrow. Amishima-senpai, Inamoto-senpai, and Hina's school festival date contest. Their fight escalated to this weirdness. They are each going on a date with Hina, deciding who wins based on how much fun she has. And then whoever wins gets to go out with Hina. Ah, what a mess. It's seriously different than last year, even this morning. That's cool. That's cool. That's his though. Say, Yuna-san, what might that be? Ah, Yuna, that looks good. Buy it. Come on, buy it and eat it. <laughs> Those two might be enjoying the festival more than anyone else. Hina, Ano, and I had made plans to check out the festival in the morning, which we were doing now. Yet, for some reason, no, as if it's completely natural, Sachi's and Amigomi are taking along. And they are so curious and noisy about every little thing. They, they even seem even louder when I think about I think about how I'm, I'm the only one who can hear them. Eh, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Yeah, school festivals are, have so much energy. You think so? It is pretty lively here near the auditorium where there are so many people. We don't decorate and use the whole school and use the whole school for our festival. And only use the auditorium for the area around it. There are performances on the auditorium stage with, while exhibits and stands are surrounded. I'm pretty sure ours is on the smaller side. Not that many people participate either. If you went into the school buildings now, you'd find people in the classroom studying like I was last year. Though it's it's a one once a year event, so there are plenty of people enjoying it too. Hey Yuna, I want to eat that next. Me too, Yuna, son, me too. Again, fine, fine. First it was takoyaki, and now they want honeycomb toffee. That sounds good, actually. Hurried by the kind with spirits, I spent. I went to the stand and did my shopping. Two honeycomb toffees, 100 yen. Is that pricey or cheap? I should be okay. Ah, so sweet. What a, what a nostalgic flavor. Ah, so Sachi-san said this before. It's my first time eating honeycomb toffee. It is sweet. The sweetness of pure sugar. My whole mouth is filled with sweet. I had some of this from a shrine festival once. 
I guess that's where you'd find it. I ate the one, but I've had enough now. What's this, Hina? I want this, Hina. Hmm, sure. I gave the other one to Hina since I really didn't think I could finish it. Hina and Ano ate half of the takoyaki earlier, too. I'd like to try that ba- Oh, yeah. That, which is Baumkuchen, which is German, by the way. Fucking awesome. You, the thing is, you only get that during winter, though. Like, September is way too early. Usually, when you, when you buy it in stores, we only have it during winter season. Even though there is one, I actually have one. I, I'm, the, I'm the type of guy that would, like, buy an enormous amount of... I didn't do that yet, but I plan on this year. To, like, buy like buy off an entire shelf of Baumkuchen and just freeze it so I have it so I can enjoy it over the rest of the of the year as well. Because Baumkuchen is freaking amazing. If you haven't never tried it before, do it or make it yourself. Gonna get a medal for this, it's awesome. I want to... I want that... Hiro, hi, Hiroshima style Okonomiyaki. That sounds also pretty damn good. Okonomiyaki, which is, I think, similar to pancakes, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's kind of what it is. Like, basically. It's not exactly that, but, you know, it's similar. I knew this would happen, but they are uh, but they are being a bit too uninhibited, don't you think? Hey, you know, are you okay? Anna looks a little worried. I guess I don't blame her with how I've been going straight for the food like this. Um, well... It's a good opportunity, you know, so I figured I'd try a few different things. I now had Okonomiyaki and Baumkuchen in my hands too. I definitely can't eat all of this. I kinda bought too much though. Can you guys eat some? Mm, yay. Sure, I don't mind, but are you really okay? <laughs> well, I'm a little worried about the calories in my, in my wallet. And the pestering of two people, we couldn't care less about that sort of thing. <laughs> so while we all snacked on the Okonomiyaki and Baumkuchen, you say radio yeah some familiar voices sounded from the speakers around the auditorium oh is that Ichikasan and the other two ah sounds like it's that show they do at noon are you all enjoying the school festival today we bring you a special school festival program of Kyusei Ra Ra radio don't stutter dumbass so this is what they're up to Umi chan stuttering stick it sick as first class as always. I had no idea. Their playful back and forth came from the nearby speakers. Would you call this a comedy routine? <laughs> we are visiting the school festival committee headquarters right now. Are they going around the school? Sounds like it. I'm not sure what pirate gorilla radio is supposed to be, though. No. Always first or second in popularity among the students, the advisor of the committee is our, our very own Sono Sensei. We'd love to hear some words from her for all the people enjoying the festival. Huh? huh? Oh, it's Sono, Sono Sensei. Ahatsu Kachan's confused. How cute. It's an ambush interview, though, huh? I feel a little bad for her, though I bet Tsurugi Minasan's getting a kick out of it. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, is everyone having fun? Um, uh, it might be a little odd to say this, but you don't get many opportunities to really enjoy your youth like this, so everyone, please do everything you can to enjoy today. After Sono Sensei shot from the speaker, people nearby cheered and whistled. Everybody's pumped up now. Tsuyuko chan's so popular. She is. It's true. Sono Sensei's words had transformed the nearby noise into sounds of enjoyment. I I see. I guess the ad this, ad this is the atmosphere of a school festival. I've kind of forgotten. Youth, eh? Aren't you embarrassed to say that, Sensei? It might. I, I, I said it might be odd. It sounds like Tsuyuko Sensei and Umi san's group are having fun too. Hmm. I'm still pretty worried about tomorrow and everything, but I should also try to enjoy the school festival. I'm in the mood for it now. I think I can enjoy it even if I'm not really involved in it. And well, you are if you buy stuff and eat stuff. Obviously, you are also involved one way or another. What? What? Who do? What? <laughs> who do we have right here? Isn't this the president of the math club, Tsurugimine Kiri-san? Ah, this time it's Tsurugimine-san. Wow, well, wait a second. Ah, no, it's Kiri. Uh, the math club has an exhibit way in the corner. Looks like tsurugimine san fell prey to them, too. Ah, poor thing. I'm a little sympathetic, but it's fun to listen to. It seems like everyone around us is listening in while they enjoy themselves. I'm done, Yunani. Oh, you're already done eating. Thanks for the help, you know. Hmm. So where should we, should we go next? Well, we could check out the exhibits. What? I want to look at the stands more. They have got target practice and ring and a ring toss too. 
I wanna do that. Come on, Yuna, let's do it. No, we'll come back to the stands again later. Jeez. No, no, Megumi. I'm sure the exhibits will be plenty of fun, too. Okay, let's go then, Yuna. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go, Hina Ano. Hmm. Uh-huh. We all poked around the club exhibits at, in the same noisy manner. When we made it back around the stands, we bought, ate, and played all sorts of stuff. I think the morning of the first day of the festival was pretty fu fulfilling for all of us. At least, Megumi and Sachi-san seemed as pleased as they could be. I also had, fu had enough fun, though it cost me a lot of my spending money. I mean, that's wh what you save up for. You know, you save it up for the fun stuff, obviously. Well, there's only one, like, ten, only like 10 minutes left. It's fine, isn't it? It's more like 15. That probably describes the difference in our approaches to time pretty well. <laughs> I was get whoops. God damn it. Can I go back? Whoops. That's not the right thing. God damn it. Anyways. Then we can just stand. We may have spent a little too much time relaxing during lunch. I didn't eat much of my food after all that snacking Megumi and Sachi-san pestered me to do. And while I, while we were luck luxurating at, uh, at on Ano time, it's gotten i would gotten late before we knew it. It had gotten late before we knew it. We didn't have long enough until we didn't have long until Yuka's turn to on stage in the auditorium. But I'm the only one who wanted to see Yuka's show. Ano and Yuka aren't friends or anything. Though since I invited her and she said sure, she could have probably hurried uh, her pace a little more, couldn't she? Yuna! I'd left the classroom and started at, at a brisk pace when Megumi appeared and called out to me. What? I was kind of in a hurry and a little startled when she popped out of nowhere, but I've never, I've, but I've basically gotten used to it at this point. I answered her quietly enough so that Anu couldn't hear, like usual. Take a detour to the tatami room, huh? I have to go up the stairs to get to the auditorium. The, the tatami room is in the opposite direction. Why? I'm trying to get to the auditorium. Yuka-san's in there, and it looks like she's in trouble. Ah, oh, God, she's getting stage fright. Yuka is. Why is she there right now? Ah. Uh. What's wrong, Yuna? I was in such a hurry, so, so now I will. If I tell her we are stopping by the tatami room, what am I supposed to go to say to Ano? Just tell Ano that you know, go like you have to go to the ladies' room or something. Like she just go ahead. I mean, I don't really have a choice. If Yuka's there and she's in some trouble, I can't just leave her. Uh, ano, can we stop by the tatami room first? Eh, why? Just a feeling. That's all I can say. Ah, it doesn't sound very convincing, and I just realized I should have told Anu to head to the auditorium to get us some seats first, but that's not very helpful now. Sure, it's fine. Let's hurry then. Ah, all right. Ah, that was actually pretty easy. Why is it that Anu seems to go along with me really easy at times like this? But I had no time questioning that at the moment. Anu and I spun around to the opposite direction of the stairs and headed for the tatami room. I just realized by now, by the way, Ano's hair is massive. Do you see how long that shit goes? It, it goes off screen. And, and that shit has body. That shit has volume. Like, goddamn. That's, that, that's actually impressive. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. It's a hairy situation. That was bad. <laughs> and I should feel bad, and I do. Yuka! Ah, she really is. She, she's really here. She was sprawled atop on the tables in the middle of the room, with Sachi-san observing from nearby. Is that her stage outfit? It's pretty loud. Oh, you're here, Yuna-san. Yes, Megumi called. What's with Yuka? Well... When Sachi-san opened her mouth to continue, Yuka slowly raised her head. Oh, Yuna, huh? She had her bangs down, unlike, uh, unlike usual, and all the color had drained from her face. Yeah, stage right. What's wrong? You're, you're white as a sheet. Are you not feeling well? At a time like this, did you catch a did you catch a cold or something? No, it's not that I'm in great shape. Doesn't look like it. I'm good, there is no problem. Same as always. What? The same as always, what is? Ah, dang it, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna hurl <laughs> Wait? Uh, what? Is this stage right? No way. With <laughs> how she usually acts? Now she suddenly lost her nerve? She's been like this for a while now. Wait a second. Haven't you done concerts before? Pull yourself together. But for the usual guys are there for concerts, so it's better, though my debut was kind of awful. And I'm all alone today. And Ben Aki's there too! Yesterday, I was all... It's gonna be a sweet show, so look forward to it. Crap, I bet she's really expecting a lot. And when I think about that... Oh, my stomach. My stomach really hurts. Oh, I wanna run away. What? What are you saying? No way. 
We really have no time left, and yet she's in this state. Can... <laughs> like, she's gotta, go, gotta, gotta go to New York here in fucking Los Angeles at the moment. Can she get up on stage to, and sing like this? If you don't sing, you're not gonna be able to confess to Adiosan, you know? Do you get that? After you've come this far, and with, with all the help I gave you with writing your lyrics, I guess. Get a hold of yourself. Jeez, I don't know what I'm, what I, why I'm saying this, but I can't help it. Really, get it together. Anyway, let's get to the auditorium. If you if you really feel sick, we can stop by the nurse's office and get you some medicine. Mm, but you're gonna toss me up on stage by myself, right? Medicine isn't gonna make me feel any better if I have to do that. Sure, but you were the one who applied for the spot alone, right? <clears throat> who would you even go up there with you with now? But uh, that's it. What? That's it, Yuna! Get on stage with me, please! Huh? Am I hearing that right? What on earth is she saying? Me? I gotta get on stage with her? What would I do up there? Yeah, exactly. Come on, you just have to stand behind me. <laughs> like a puppeteer? Just stand. I, I can't do that. Stand up on stage in the auditorium at the school festival in front of all those people? I can't do that! Well, that's gonna help if you would have said that. You know, like, when a band has models standing up on stage behind them, I'll ace it up uh, if you're there with me, you know. If you can't go up there on your own, then uh, you there. You're Yuna's friend, right? You can come too. What? <laughs> Stop being so ridiculous. Has she cracked under the pressure? No. I kind of get how just having someone there with her would make her more comfortable, but this isn't isn't this asking too much? She doesn't really fit with those clothes. Is the clothes is the problem? We need to get a, get Yuka on stage somehow. Never mind her crazy suggestions. Say Yuna-san. Yes. Couldn't you help Yuka-chan? Huh? What's Sachi-san saying now? She's right, Yuka. Yeah, Yuna. Yuka-san's in trouble, and she says she'd she'd be fine with you. Wait, wait. Still, I can't do this. Come on, please, Yuna. Get up. Uh, get on up. Get me up on stage. Please, Yuna-san. Just do it. Just do it. Yuna. Got a little bit of a Shia LaBeouf moment right there, Megumi. Wait. They've got me so... <laughs> We got the building surrounded. There are just things I can and can't do. And I can't and I can't I can't stand up on a stage. Something that would make me stand out that much. I don't want to. Come on, and your friend too, please, I'm begging you. Listen, Yuka, you can't get Ano wrapped up in this too. I was about to say when. Mm, uh Ano. Well, I don't mind. Wait, Ano? What are you saying? Do you know what she's asking? You don't mind her? Pulling out you up on stage? Ah, well, you know, she looks like she's in trouble, right? If it's just standing, I guess, like... Seriously, for real. Sure. If it's really just standing? Great, that sounds great. I think I can work up the courage if you do do that. But in that case... You know, you too, you know, come on. I can't say no now, can I? I can't turn her down on my own when Arno's stepping up without any obligation to. I don't... I didn't think... She would get involved, though. So I'm gonna get up on stage now, too. I have to? Everything's going dark. Well, alright, this is awesome. Thank you, God. Thank you, Yuna-sama and Yuna f Yuna's friend-sama. <laughs> I won't forget this. Not a single day of my life. You can. You can forget it. You can forget it as soon as the show's over. You don't have to remember it even once afterwards, and I don't think I'm going to want to. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's the Yuna I love. Go get some costumes then. Oh yeah, okay, that, that, that could help. You can't go on stage with in your boring old uniforms. Huh? Now we have to do something even more humiliating. Uh, where are we even supposed to find costumes? Does anything work? Yeah, as flashy as possible. I'll go grab something then. What's Yuna gonna wear though? <laughs> grab something from where? I've got some friends in the cosplay part of the manga club. Ah. They've got plenty of snowy, showy costumes. I mean, at this point, you have like two minutes left. Why? My avenue of escaping narrows before my eyes, and Anno's turning this around on me. She's blocking the route, the route herself. I'll be right back then. Uh, Anno, I yelled to try and stop her, but I'm not sure what I'd do if she did. Uh, if she did stop, this is all we can do to get Yuka up on stage right now. I know that, even if it makes me feel hopeless. <laughs> well, now you're kind of participating, aren't you? Ma, Yuna-san, you can do it! We'll be cheering for you. Please don't. If you if you want me to do it, I'd rather you didn't watch. I know they wouldn't listen if I told them that, though. It's okay, it's okay. I can do this. I can totally do this. It'll go fine. Yuka seems <laughs> to be uh, hyping herself up. 
I didn't think she'd get so weak need right at the last minute like this. Thanks to that, I... I oh mean, I don't even want to think about what's, co what's coming next. Anno returned a few minutes later. I borrowed some costumes. I was a little impressed... Impressed? Im it was a little impressive that Anno's social circles let her borrow the costume so easily. And it was also a little intimidating. I want to see what she, what, what, especially what Yuna is going to wear, because this is going to be so out of character, it's going to be insanely awesome. And that was before she showed off the costumes. What the heck are these? Oh, awesome! They are perfect era made outfits. You're kidding, right? Why did you borrow something with so much exposure for? <laughs> these were the only ones, the only matching ones they had, they had that my chest would fit into, so... What do I do? I'm not even sure what to be angry at right now. Is this really the only way? Do we have no choice but to do this? We have to wear these? Alright, Yuna. No time to worry anymore. Whose fault do you think this is? Complain later. Hurry up and change and we'll head to the stage. Ah, jeez. 